بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الأحياء الأجلة It has been brought to my attention that Peter Lamborn Wilson, Hakim Bey, has passed away. Some of you may know that Peter Lamborn Wilson acknowledged me several times in his two final books, which were released only a few months ago. Peter Lamborn Wilson and I began corresponding through an intermediary and friend of his beginning in 2014, after he reached out to me while I was living in Berlin, Germany since he did not own a computer and did things the old-fashioned way. Inspired by some of my writings and translations of Bayani texts, in 2019, Peter Lamborn Wilson formally requested to enter the Bayan and was simultaneously made an honorary member of the Fatimiyah Sufi order. I first encountered Peter Lambert Wilson's writings in 1990 as an undergraduate freshman at the University of New Mexico. Already having become a disciple to the writings of Henry Corban, when I first came across Peter Lambert Wilson's scandals, essays in Islamic heresy, more than any other work, this book sparked my genuine interest in the Ismailis and especially the Alamuti concept of the Imam of one's being. In 1995, I briefly met Peter Lamborn Wilson at the annual gathering of the Mohyeddin Ibn Arabi Society in Berkeley, California, where he gave a presentation that would later form the first essay of his Shower of Stars, the initiatic dream in Sufism and Taoism. That book resonated with me because of a few of my own initiatic experiences in the imaginal world of the dreaming. His notion of the, of the temporary autonomous zone, TAZ, and ontological anarchy has also gone a long way in helping me formulate my own political theory of theophanocracy. While there was a lot I agreed with Peter Lambert Wilson about, there were also some features to his writing and overall work which I profoundly disagreed with, especially his advocacy on behalf of NAMBLA, Although I am of the mind that this later feature may have possibly been a calendary and malamati form of warding off people and preventing himself from becoming a guru, an unnecessary focus of adoration by bringing blame upon himself as an initiatic act. Adoration which has sometimes corrupted even the best and erected turbid veils due to the cultivation of the base ego. Nevertheless, for whatever of his faults, lapses, omissions, and commissions, in my book, Peter Lamborn Wilson left a positive legacy to this world and leaves this life as a believer, a moment in the light of the Bayan, the primal point, his letters of the living, and Sopa Azal, which he acknowledges in his two final books published this year. Although I am not a P.L. Wilsonian, in a sense, I feel his acknowledgement of myself, the Bayan, and the FSO was a sort of passing of the mantle. I would have liked to see Peter Lambert Wilson live longer and write and publish some more, but the Lord of all being and mistress of all life opened a new chapter for him in the Book of Destiny in the afterlife. Peter was 77 years old, i.e. the abject numerical value of Ya Allah, and he was considered by me a letter of the Noor. The light of the All High be upon him in every moment, before every moment, and after every moment. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman Rahim. Malik Yawm Deen. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكتوب عليهم ولا دالين وإن لله وإن إليه راجعون